Today I am going to be doing a video on how to curl your hair. For those of you who have thin hair like me or just really want your curls to have more volume to them and more texture and just to have your curls overall look better instead of always meshing together and then it's like one clump of curl. I hate that. <laughs> so this is what you are going to be needing. Either, I have two options for you guys. So the first option is a smaller clipless curling wand. So this is ceramic. It's very important to have a ceramic barrel, guys, because that is what is going to smooth out your hair if you have any frizzies and just really tame it and control it. And then a bigger barrel that is about this size. And this is, obviously you can see, about double the width of the other one. This is just like one and done, you know what I mean? So we're just gonna, we're gonna use these two right here. What you really want to keep in mind when you're like looking for curling irons to use, if you are going to try out this tutorial, is you want just enough difference so that the curl patterns don't mix in with each other. So let's get started. All right, guys, so to begin this hair tutorial, the first thing that you want to do is section out your hair. Make two different sections, clip up the top section, and with this bottom section here, go ahead and start brushing that out so we can prepare it for all the curling. Pick out your very first piece, this is about an inch, and then start wrapping it around the curling wand. When I wrap, I usually like to keep the curls as close as possible. What this means is that it's going to be a tighter curl, but by the end of the day, it'll be looser. If you have a looser curl, it'll be even looser by the end of the day. So that kind of explains why this whole technique works really well, because certain pieces of hair are gonna be curled more than others when you're done curling the hair and also by the end of the day. So you'll never have that clumping problem. So here I'm going in with the bigger size barrel doing the exact same thing. I, I used just an inch of hair, wrapped it around. Now when I am wrapping, I do kind of do this little twist thing because that way the like my natural hairs go into the barrel as well and they don't like stick out so there's a little tip right there i do like a, a twist and then i bring it up twist bring it up twist bring it up like that i leave a little bit of hair out and i do hold it on the barrel for about eight to ten seconds and then I release it into my hand for another few seconds to let the curl cool so that it doesn't lose its pattern or formation. And then I let it go. One last thing that you can try is interchanging the curls, making some curls go towards the face and some curls away from the face. Once you are finished, you can wait five minutes for these curls to cool. Don't even touch them. Figure out something to do. You can dance, you can be on your phone, you can fix your makeup. I, I don't, I tried to do the wave or the worm. No, that's the wave. <laughs> it wasn't working. So then you want to test and see if your hair is cooled and then you can start pulling it apart. But I don't like using a brush. I know a lot of people do, but I find that using a brush completely brushes out the curl and my hair is so thin that if before hairspray, if I touch it with a brush, all my work is going to be demolished. So I just lightly pick it apart with my fingernails like 50 million times until it looks the way that I want it to look. And occasionally I will go back in and, you know, recurl some of those pieces, not all of them, just some, like some of them. So the trick to hairspraying for volume is lift the hair up and then spray where it's going to lay. So you're spraying underneath and then it's gonna basically sit on, you know, the hairspray instead of just being flat. So that's it for this full tutorial, guys. Really easy, like I said, I do this all the time. It's one of my most favorite looks. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.